So far in this series, we have been able to successfully fetch our list of to do's from the database. In this video, we are going to now make a post request to the database from our add new to do components so that we are able to create the to do's and save them in the database. So now the first thing will be the Laravel side of implementation. But let me quickly write down what are the things which I need to do. So I'll go into sublime. And so we are going to create a route which will be used to save the to do handle it on a controller. Okay, then we will need to handle the CSRF token, which is required in any post request in Laravel. So there's a view header, which we need to set up for X CSRF token, which is the Ajax based token, which will be checked. And then uh, we need to update our blade welcome to our blade so that you now we push the meta tag all right then obviously to do add code we will change that and we'll have to make some changes in the to do items because once the uh, new to do is added in the database there will be no way we can tell to do items that a new to do is added so we'll have to go back to the properties uh, which we were injecting previously and yeah that's about it these are the six things which we are going to do so the first thing will be adding the route routes.php i'll create a separate as personal preference i prefer the api calls and their controllers to be in a different folder now if we go into route uh, sorry the app folder http controllers what I will do is I'll create a new folder here called API and then create my to do API controller. So inside app HTTP controllers, I'll create a folder called API. And in that I will have to do controller, sorry, to do API controller dot PHP. This will help me keep uh, you know, the code separate. And also while uh, calling the files, it will be easier for me to uh, recollect that okay so if it is a to-do API controller which will obviously strike that it's a controller which is handling the API so I'll have namespace which will be in this case app then HTTP okay and then sorry controller and then sorry it's an S so API controller slash API this is the namespace. I'll have class to do API controller, which will extend the controller class. We need to include that. Um, yes, this one. Okay, and let's just call our controller method as save to do. We will pull in the request which is eliminate HTTP request okay and let's update our routes file in this the syntax will be slash app then our HTTP folder then we will go into sorry controllers controllers then api and then we have let me copy that this our controller at the rate so save to do okay so our routes file is done i can close that out my controller needs to work with the request right so the first thing which we are which we are going to do is do a validation. So I'll create a validator object equals validator make. Okay. Let me pull in eliminate support for sites validator make. Okay. Uh, we have to pass the request all. Okay. And then we will push the rules. This is going to be an array. 
um, we only have the title field so we'll do required and we will say it's minimum three okay that's more or less what we will need okay R -A -Q -U -I -N -E. okay the spelling is correct now if our validation fails so if validator fails that's the function what we are going to do is we are create we are going to return a response okay with validator errors okay and in that get messages that's how we can get all the uh, validator messages and typically we will have a status code as 422 which is what even laravel does by default if the validation fails okay uh, kind of best practices uh, then so dollar to do if the validation doesn't fail we will have to do create all right that's uh, yeah. in that we will have title which we are getting from request input title right uh, user id for now we will hard code it oh sorry i don't i can't do auth we don't have login yet otherwise uh, i could have done auth user id but okay that's something which we are going to handle later on then completed obviously for now it will be false because if i am creating a to do first time let's just assume that no it's not completed otherwise i will not create a to do so once the to do is created i will again send a response with dollar to do and my status code will be 201 okay so route is handled controller is done now it's time to uh, handle the view header for XCSRF token. All right. Um, so to do that, we are going to go into a main.js and globally handle this problem. Okay. I'll say view dot HTTP headers dot common. Okay. And that I'll have this away X CSRF token. This will be equal to document dot query selector. Query selector, yes, that's correct. And then in this function, I'm going to say I'm looking for a meta tag okay with its name equal to what is going to be the name we will name it csrf token okay and we will take the attribute content so get attribute g yes and in this we will say content okay so what we are actually doing is using vanilla javascript we are querying the document object we are looking for a meta tag with name as csrf token and we will get the attribute content okay once this is done we'll obviously need to create the meta tag so i'll go into my welcome blade.php okay in here the tag the name will be csrf dash token exactly what we have mentioned in the query selector the content will be in double braces csrf underscore token this is the function okay with that done if i now hit refresh and let's see we're getting this token so if i kind of run this in the console i think i should be able to pull that out yes so you can see i'm getting the token 
okay, which is printed here. So our main JS is kind of appending a CSRF token on uh, any HTTP request, which is what we wanted always. So with that done, we have this and this done. Now it's time to add the to do code. So we'll come here. This is what we are doing right now. Okay. So this new to do equals this to do, right? So which what it does is it goes into this watch, but that we will have to handle later. First, we'll have to kind of get the Ajax post request done, right? So what I will do is let's just say we have a where post data variable post data which is an object and the title will be in the this dot to do dot title okay because yeah this is what we are doing right so and as you remember in our validation also we are only looking for a title key so things are set up here we'll make the http call so this dollar http okay we'll do post now our url is api slash v1 slash to do okay that's what we had set up in our route we'll pass the post data and we'll then go into the then we'll get a response which we are going to handle here okay and yeah let's for now comment these two and you know we have written a lot of code but we are not sure what's happening so let's quickly console it out and see if things are working properly okay hit refresh Four twenty-two, which means unprocessable entity. That's correct. Okay, we are in the correct place now. Clear this out and see what's happening here. New to do. Okay, we are getting the object um, with the new to do, right? So, yeah, things are working properly. We are not getting any CSRF error as well, which means the you know header injection for XCSRF token is also working. Now you see we have a status 201. So I'll first check whether I have if response dot what is it status is equal to 201. Okay, sorry, equals 201. Then only what we are going to do is Obviously, this won't be this dot to do. We will say response dot data. Okay, that's where we are getting the new to do, and this dot to do will be again equal to this, which means it should be blank again. Okay, we don't need this anymore. But <clears throat> what if we don't get a response here, or what if there is some error? Right, we have to catch that. So we'll do catch. Okay, we'll again get the response. We'll handle it right now with just a console.log. We will say error and then just response. Okay. Clear that. Hit refresh. Now we have the to do. Obviously, we are not doing an auto update. Our code is not complete as of now. But if you see our console error is now handling the exception as well and if we you know, do a proper post adding one more and render so it doesn't know the push because if we go into main.js we have a watch on new to do so it kind of does a push which will not work right now but if i hit refresh we are adding the new to do, right? So, yeah, uh, this is done. 
add code and now we'll handle the items so we have to update the items right so let's quickly go into to do items we are getting it here inside the component but the problem is if this component is independent of the data then how will my to do add component send this data so what i'm going to do is go back to the properties okay that's something i didn't anticipate will happen so we'll again do props okay in this i'm going to send the to do's okay i'm still in in here i'm still using to do so it really doesn't make a difference so i'm just changing the source okay we have the to do's here but obviously now i'll need to go into my main.js and in some way fetch the to do's right so here i'll add the why don't i just copy paste what is it the data i won't require anymore i'll do the props to do's that's how it is right and i'll just cut the created code and paste it here okay so this is done this is done um and the thing i need to do is this dot to do's right this is this is correct so in main.js on created i'm going to do a get request to slash uh, to do's and then i'm going to okay i don't have to do so to do's is going to get array okay that's the last piece yeah uh, hit refresh I'm not getting it oh correct so I'm passing as property right so I'll need to send this again uh, to do's dot sync equals to do's that should do yeah so now if I do checking yes so as you can see we switched back to properties and now the entire data is practically being managed by the uh, main.js right the components are basically not aware of the data which ideally should be the case i mean you know uh, each and individual component should only uh, know how to render the data and how to behave with that data and they should not be pulling the data themselves ideally uh, that's something which you know is uh, you know, here done by the main.js which is fine for now and yeah that's that's about it that's how you know um, we have a working um, you know listing and addition of to do and in the next video we are going to handle the delete functionality as well thanks for watching guys if you like the series and if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't, don't forget to subscribe to my channel